Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at filter character and ask ourselves what it is and what it does. So let's take a look at that right now. Have you ever had a friend that said to you, dude, the filters on this synth are sick, bro? I have. Um, and it can be quite difficult to figure out what that really means. So I want to take a look at a couple of different filter models in Anna 2 and just show you how different they can actually sound in the right conditions. <clears throat> okay. So what I've got, that might be a little bit loud, is a, an initialized um, patch in Anna. I'm just going to use a saw wave and I just want to show you a couple of examples of filters. So we're going to use, let's use the Moog, 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 whatever it is, low pass. Um, even just doing that, if you spent enough time with the Moog filters, you'll recognize that sound. Let's just switch it over to the Korg MS-20 replicant. It's not quite as wow but it does sound very similar. So we're not showing ourselves much at the moment. Uh, let's choose another one. Let's choose another particularly characterful filter, which is the EMS. That's slightly different again. But at these settings, they're not massively different. So what we want to do is filter character is usually much more noticeable or prevalent when you push a filter into drive or resonance. So we're just going to have a look at the resonance and see what that does. So let's go back to our m -m -m Moog. And we're going to push this into quite high resonance. So you can, as you as you uh, lower and raise the cutoff, when the resonance is high, you can hear the, um, the harmonics pop in and out of existence. Just turn up. Okay, so keep this sound in mind. Now I'm going to switch over to our Korg filter. I remember. Without the resonance, it sounds very similar to the, the Moog. I'm just going to take the volume down a little bit because this tends to blitz a little bit, the Korg at high resonance. So let's turn the resonance up. Now, can you hear how much more driven that is? And you can hear the harmonics really biting much harder than the Moog. And especially now, pay particular attention to what happens when we pull this right down to the... Um, lower registers. Ooh, ominous. And just as a quick comparison, have a look at the spectrum here. So resonance all the way down. Watch what happens. This is the Korg filter, remember, when we turn the resonance up. Nothing really changes. Going back to the Moog. See what happens. You actually, when you turn resonance up on a, a Moog ladder style filter, um, you tend to lose a lot of bottom end. And that is a particular characteristic of that kind of filter. So when they talk about filter character, that's part of it. With the Moog filter, you lose a bit of low end when you push it into resonance. There are some synths that have... Um, like a compensating effect built in so that you don't lose the bottom end. But, you know, people have lived without it for a long time. It's not the end of the world. Um, so we looked at Moog, looked at the Korg one. Let's remind ourselves what Korg sounds like. Very, very bitey and harsh. That's a classic MS-20 sound. 
And then finally, we'll have a look at the EMS. Same thing. It sings quite a lot, doesn't it? Wow. Boomy. Boomy bottom end. So, yeah, different filter models and different synths will model this in different ways. Um, Anna 2 is particularly good at modeling these high resonant peaks. Um, so when you are picking a filter, when you're picking an analog style filter, um, it's worth pushing it into resonance a little bit and using the drive as well, because that can have quite a big impact on how the filter sounds. Um, and that's what people generally talk about when they talk about filter character. Um, if you're using, like, if you just make a pluck sound and keep the resonance quite low, let's just do this quickly. So there's the EMS. Apart from being louder, this just sounds the same. Korg might sound a bit different. Yeah, it sounds a bit thinner. So without the resonance being very high, they all sound fairly similar, and it can be quite difficult to ascertain what the filter character is actually doing. But it tends to be a combination of resonance and drive and how much of the envelope you're actually using to modulate the cutoff. So uh, what I would do is make a few plucky sounds, plucky sounds in particular, because you're using quite a lot of the uh, cutoff spread like from high to low and just have a play with a few of the different filter models and see try and get your ears tuned to the differences so that's pretty much it i hope you found this video useful and i'll see you in the next one thanks everyone for watching we really appreciate all the support from you guys if you love this video then smash a like and if you want to be notified about new videos hit the subscribe and notification buttons peace